Okay, this video is to help uh, people out if they want to fix their transmission themselves on a Can Am X3. Uh, not a lot of information out there. Um, I, when I looked last, didn't find much, but I was gonna put some stuff out. It's not gonna be a start to finish video on how to do it, but I'm gonna give you some pointers. If you're thinking of tackling this, then you probably fairly mechanically inclined anyways. So, uh, get the transmission out. You need to take a run a strap from here up to where the uh, shock bolts are. Um, you don't have to take the shocks out of the way. It just makes it a lot easier accessing it. Um, and then just ratchet the engine up out of the way uh, because in this car the only thing that holds the engine in place is the transmission um, on my two-seater I had to loosen up the front uh, differential and the drive shaft but I found that it didn't really help on this it, it wasn't necessary um, I was able to just take it loose, get that up out of the way, and um, take it loose from the uh, sub sub transmission, or I think that's what they call that. Had it come loose and just came right out the side. Um, if you're actually wanting to take the transmission apart, there is one special tool that I still haven't found the part number for, but I can tell you that you're gonna to have to have it if you want to take it apart. Um, I had an extra um, secondary that fits over what is the um, input shaft into the transmission. Um, there is a very large nut on here. I believe it's inch and three quarter. Um, I don't actually have that wrench that big, but I have a crescent wrench that I use to do that. Um, let's put this on here. And I'm not actually gonna loosen up because I've already done all the work of uh, lock tightening and everything in this transmission, but put this on here and then it, it actually has threads that are the normal way, but when you're pushing the shaft, it will be the opposite direction. But uh, there is an actual socket that has these special splines that fit on here. Not sure what they are, but if you have the secondary, um, what I did was actually welded a uh, socket inside of this secondary and made it into the socket I needed. Didn't cost me anything. Um, you may be able to use the secondary somehow um, to hold it in place while you get that loose um, if you don't have an extra secondary uh, or somehow find that that socket but um, you got to take on this transmission <laughs> I had a problem with it. The car only had 1,700 miles on it, and this nut right here came loose, and it allowed this shaft right here to move, and it broke in half. Really a bummer. Um, I had only one year ago uh, rebuilt the transmission on my two-seater and I actually had an extra one of these was still good in my old trans out of my old transmission and I was able to put it in there but in order to get the gearbox apart you have to take this nut off this nut this nut it's under this little cover here um, there are a couple of hidden bolts on the wrong side one, two, and seems like there was a third one, but maybe not. 
but make sure you turn over both sides of the uh, transmission before you try and split it in half. Most of the bolts are all on one side. Um, take them all loose and take those nuts loose. And then when you get the, the case halves apart, you will be able to take the, uh, I guess take the shift drum off, which I'm gonna have to do. I gotta take the case half back apart to seal it and get it ready to put in. But um, yeah, if you guys have any more comment or questions, just put them in the comments and I'll, I'll uh, answer your questions. I've had the whole thing apart a couple more times. And uh, yeah, it's, if you dealt with gearboxes, it's, it's not very complicated. So, all right, that's it.